हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज चेलसी डेली न्यूज योर वन स्पॉट फॉर डेली चेलसी न्यूज एवरी डे ऑफ द वीक एवरी डे ऑफ द ईयर वी हैव गॉट सम वेरी बिग बिग न्यूज फॉर यू टूडे देर हैव बीन मेजर डेवलपमेंट्स इन द चेलसी ट्रांसफर पॉलिसी एंड मेजर अपडेट्स एज वेल लेट्स डाइव इन टू इट फ्रैंक लैम पार्ड वॉन्ट्स टू साइन डेक्लिन राइस एट एनी कॉस्ट Chelsea have already signed numerous players this transfer window but now he wants Declan Rice to play at the center back or the central defensive midfield role for Chelsea. He loves the player, he adores the player and he would love to have him on his team. The price would be a cause of worry but it seems that Roman Abramovich will sign Declan Rice. He will cost somewhere in the region of 50 to 60 million. Euros because West Ham have not been relegated remember this season and they are still in the Premier League which still keeps his market value quite high personally feel he should be signed because he has got leadership qualities and has a lot of potential in him he's a player for the future and he's quite young as well and we need a replacement for Angelo Conte anyways because he's getting older but this does not mean that i'm hating on kante because he is one of the best players at chelsea but the signing of rice will secure our future and this means that we are going in the right direction speaking of the man himself angolo kante has told chelsea that he does not want to leave we made a video today morning talking about his transfer and chelsea have named their price at 80 million euros for inter to sign him which virtually means inter will not sign him because they don't have that kind of cash and they can't afford that much money for a single player thank god he is not leaving because we need his experience we need his work rate and we need his stamina on the pitch he is one of the hardest workers in world football and runs like a horse He runs everywhere, covers everything, gives his hundred percent in every match, and is a Chelsea legend for sure. Good news all around Chelsea. Kai Havertz had a medical on Sunday. It has been confirmed now, and he will be announced as a Chelsea player very, very soon. I know we are very anxious to see him in a Chelsea jersey, but we have to wait a few more days. wait for him to come back from the nations league along with team owner and antonio rodriguez and then hopefully the announcement video would be amazing and we will love to watch it enough of the havert stock now just keep it aside he's coming it's confirmed we just have to patiently wait chelsea are in the market for a new goalkeeper we know that because kepa's performance was just terrible last season and the goalkeeper we are in for is edward mendy who plays for ren in the french league personally i haven't watched him a lot because i don't watch the french league but according to my research and what i have read online he is considered a temporary fix for two reasons because first he is quite old he is 28 years old even older than kepa and he will just fix the team quickly and secondly he has got height uh, to his advantage which he can use in the premier league as we all know the league is very physical and tall goalkeepers are always ruling the league as we saw with thibo kotua and petr cech kepa is not tall enough and he struggles physically and does not come out to collect crosses which resulted in poor performances from him last season for comparison kepa is only 186 cm tall while this guy is 197 cm tall which is a huge difference considering the goalkeeping position he's also being signed because he will come at a very cheap price and is not a high stake transfer like kepa who we spent 72 million euros on I can't believe to this day that we that we bought Kepa for 72 million euros. We could have bought anyone but Kepa. But the thing is of past and we have to focus on Mendy now and he will only cost in the region of 
30 million euros which is quite less for a keeper and in the current current market it is very less for any player so in conclusion we are signing a tall keeper and are realizing our mistake about kepa and trying to fix it but this is a short fix and we will go for a better keeper next season that's for sure if we sign mendy now or we could just go for a better keeper a younger keeper in the form of gianluigi donnarumma but the talks have not been quite good uh, among ac milan and chelsea and no new uh, reports have been coming out of italy so it's hard to say if donnarumma will come or not but it looks likely that we will sign edward mendy this season that's it for the transfer rumors now let's shift to the chelsea squad updates rhys james has unfortunately been injured and has returned back from the under 21 squad for england we don't know the extent of the injury but it is a harsh blow to frank lampard with hakim ziyech also suffering a injury in the recent pre-season friendly i hope he comes back before the season starts because he would be an integral part of our squad next season as as pilicueta is getting older and older reece james is looking likely to replace him at the right back position permanently Timo Werner had an interview with Chelsea TV today and there were some basic questions asked to him uh, like how has he settled in at Chelsea and Werner responded that it was quite good with Matteo Kovacic and Antonio Rudiger speaking German so that helped him a bit you can listen to that interview on Chelsea TV so please go and listen to it it's amazing and Werner's English is quite good to be honest uh, it was expected as many Germans speak good English so it's good to see him uh, getting along with other players and getting along with the manager as well i guess that wraps up the video guys thank you so much for watching and if you are watching till now you are a legend don't forget that and chelsea is the best club in the world Come on you blues thank you so so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the latest football transfers news and match analysis thank you so so much for watching and see you next time and, and don't forget to watch this series every day we bring you the latest chelsea news thank you so much for watching and see you next time